Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Andrea, and today's video is a Cricut tutorial where I'm gonna be sharing how to make your very own high-end DIY custom throw pillow. So let's get started. My inspiration for my DIY today are these botanical leaf throw pillows from Wayfair, which are $68.50 per pillow, and we are going to be recreating them for less. I'm starting off by going into Cricut Design Space and inserting a pillow template, and my pillow is an 18 inch by 18 inch, or 45 centimeters by 45 centimeters. I found these botanical leaf SVGs for free online, so I'm inserting those into my project. I'm deleting the circle that was part of it, and then I'm ungrouping this image so all of the leaves are separated, and then I'm choosing which leaves I want for my pillow. This leaf positioning isn't going to be final, I'm just arranging them all and sizing them so I can get an idea of where I'm going to want them all to go. Now that I have all the leaves arranged on the pillow template, I'm selecting all of them and changing the color to green. This is just to give me a good visual because I will be printing them with green vinyl, but changing the color isn't necessary. Before I cut, I wanna make sure I'm deleting all of these extra leaves on the side. And now I'm clicking on make it. Cricut split these leaves up onto three mats, but I think we can pare it down to two. Before I start moving anything around though, I want to make sure that I'm clicking on mirror for each of the mats because this is an iron-on project. It is crucial that you mirror your designs. I'm now moving some of the leaves around to fit them all on two mats. You can drag the images around and rotate them. I'm trying to maximize the space on here so I don't have any wasted vinyl. You can also move objects from one mat to another. Click on the three dots, then move object and select which mat you want it to go to. This took a lot of playing around to figure out where I wanted all of the leaves to go to get the most out of my mat space, but eventually I got it figured out. Now you can see there's nothing on that third mat, so I have everything on the first two, and I just have to arrange them so they're not overlapping. I'm using the Cricut Iron-On vinyl for this project, and for Iron-On, you always want to make sure that the shiny side is facing down to the mat, and I'm using my brayer tool to smooth it down and make it nice and secure. Now it's time to cut out my designs. Now to weed out all the leaves, I'm placing the shiny side down and weeding them out from the matte side. I really like how some of these leaves are solid and then some of them are just the outline. Since I'm going to be placing these leaves all over my pillow in different areas, I'm cutting each of them out. Today's video is part of the Look for Less Challenge hosted by Yami at The Latina Next Door. I'll have her channel linked below along with the playlist featuring all of the high-end dupe DIYs that everyone else has done. So make sure to check it out because I'm sure there's gonna be so much good DIY inspiration for home decor on a budget. For my throw pillow today, I'm using the Cricut pillow cover, but you can use any pillow cover you have. I washed it first and now I'm arranging all of the leaves onto the pillow. I'm also trimming the clear plastic as needed because I don't want any of them overlapping. Now that all my leaves are arranged on the pillow, it's time to iron them on. I have this Cricut Easy Press mat that I'm placing underneath the pillowcase. I'm also adding a layer of parchment paper over top just as another protection between the vinyl and the Easy Press. I looked up the heat guide on the Cricut website for how hot to make my Easy Press for this type of fabric. 
and I set it to 315 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 seconds. So I'm lightly pressing down on my pillowcase and holding that for the 30 seconds. Now I'm lifting off the parchment paper and moving on to the next section. There were a couple areas around the edges that I don't think I quite got enough with the easy press. So I'm going back over with the parchment paper and ironing it on again, but I don't want to do it for the full 30 seconds because I don't want to melt the vinyl. So I'm just holding it for a few seconds the second time around. Once all the sections have been ironed on, I'm flipping the pillowcase over and using the easy press on the back of the pillowcase for 15 seconds per section. Depending on the type of iron-on project, sometimes Cricut says to wait until it's cool to the touch before peeling off the clear layer from the vinyl, and other times it's when it's slightly warm. So for this one, it's said to wait until it's cool to the touch before peeling it off. To stuff my pillow, I'm using this polyfill I got from Michaels. This is the 12 ounce bag, and I'm using all of it inside the pillow. Here is the comparison between the inspiration piece from Wayfair, where the pillows were $68.50 each, compared to mine, which came out to $34.97, including the pillow sham, the stuffing, and the vinyl. Let me know in the comments how you think I did. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here and I'll see you next time.